The death of a loved one can leave us feeling victimised, isolated and traumatised. And our next guest knows this firsthand. However, she knows that it can also be a positive catalyst for change, which she explores in her book, Death Expands Us. Please welcome to the cafe and the Harvey Norman Lounge, Stephanie Harris. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's fantastic to be here. A pleasure to have you. Now, your, let's talk about your experience yep. first, because that's what led you to this, the, this book. Yes, very much. Um, so my brother lived in London and he travelled a lot with his job. He worked at an investment bank in London. Didn't seem anything out of the ordinary for us. Um, he landed the Saturday morning and by the Monday morning he'd passed away. So it was all very quick, very sudden. Um, my sister and I met with a doctor. They still don't know the specific cause. It was just a total whirlwind. And how old was he when he passed? 33 years old, so almost wow. my age, yeah. And this is quite a turning point for yeah. you, isn't it? Because, you know, this has led you to, I guess, explore how people deal with grief, and you've turned it into this amazing yeah. book. Uh, what did you take from it? So many things. I mean, you know, everyone's experience is different, and you're going to learn different things along your journey, but I think for me it was how precious life is, and sometimes not to sweat those small things. And to make each day meaningful. Like now I try and live life with so much more intention and purpose. Like mm. what I enjoy doing, who do I like spending my time with? Because it is short. Yeah, you've got to practice a bit of gratitude. But you've done yeah. a lot of research into grief as well, haven't you? What yeah. are the common things that you find that people really struggle with? I think one of the biggest ones for me, and I, I know I experienced, is that when you, in the beginning, when you're really in it, we can really get caught up in our head and you can feel like you're the only one going through it, the only one experiencing it, which is why coaching or going to grief groups is really important because it just helps to give you perspective mm. and to get out of your head. And realise that you're not alone in it all as well. Yes. Also, it's hard for, I think, people who are dealing with someone who's lost someone as well because if they're not used to it, they don't know what to do. Well, that was a case for me. I mean, my parents were in South Africa, my sister was in England, and at the time, no one around me had lost a sibling. And I just felt like I was put in the middle of nowhere, and I had no idea how to deal with this or cope with it or where to even begin. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's really important for people to look for support. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Cooked chickens are always a good thing. <laughs> like, I know when my father, people bring around cooked chickens yeah. because you're not eating properly and a cooked chicken mm. never goes astray. Mm. And well, your yeah. technique is actually quite unique as well, isn't it? Tell us about yeah. that. I guess I began to notice that I think we forget how much the physical body holds on to with grief as well. And death, loss, some days not wanting to get out of bed, suicide is not easy for people to talk about, it leaves you feeling very vulnerable. So I found with some of my clients, beginning my session with a full body massage, it just creates that trust between me and them and it really helps to relax them so it's easier to talk about it. That sounds magnificent. <laughs> so for people that are currently suffering from yeah. devastating loss, what advice would you give them? Again, like I said before, we don't need to hide. It's okay to ask for support or grab a book like mine or talk to a friend. Just be mindful not to get caught up at home because if you're feeling vulnerable, you, you don't know who you can talk to about it, just don't get stuck at home because it can be really difficult and you can find yourself in a not so good place. Yeah, yeah and can I just say thank you for writing it because, you know, yeah. death is part of life yeah. and there's lots of books about parenting, there's lots yeah. of books about raising kids, but there aren't too many books about this subject. So good on you for writing it yeah. and, and sharing. And it's yeah. a thing that we are not prepared for in any way, shape or form when yeah. it happens, well, that is nice. for sure. No matter how much you think you are, you're not. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Yeah. Stephanie's book, Death Expands Us, is available now from all good bookstores.